I'm not here to get you out of trouble if you do something stupid, student. Enter the tombs at your own risk. I'm not here to get you out of trouble if you do something stupid, student. Enter the tombs at your own risk. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs. But Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. There's four tombs here. On the right are the tombs of Ajunta Paul and Tulak Horde. On the left are the tombs of Marco Ragnos and Nagasato. All four were ancient Sith lords. That's the first tomb on the right. There's a rumor that there's a powerful artifact still in there, but nobody's retrieved it yet. That tomb supposedly has ancient battle droids and traps that are still functioning. It's amazing that their power sources have lasted so long, really. That's the farthest tomb on the right. We don't know much about Tulak Horde, unfortunately. The Takata have a nest in that tomb, I think. A local pack animal that's very dangerous. Occasionally, the guards track down a queen and kill it. That usually pacifies them for a bit. That's the first tomb on the right. There's a rumor that there's a powerful artifact still in there, but nobody's retrieved it yet. That tomb supposedly has... That's the first tomb on the left. Someone mentioned that a crazy droid has holed itself up in there, but I don't know much about that. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Master Uthar won't allow us to dig with lasers or sonics. We have to use hand tools only, so we don't accidentally destroy anything we run across. That makes progress very slow, however. A star map? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Something like that could be in Nagasato's tomb, I suppose. That tomb's off-limits to the students. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back. All right, just be careful if you head into any of those tombs.
for me! Idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters. Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <coughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the Academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. What? Old Hermit? Can't that blasted Uthar teach a single thing right these days? Slander! That's what it is. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him. Didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. Why then, go free. I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophy. They're based on all I've learned studying two lands too. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are set remote. Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you... I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. No hesitation before the kill? Now that's what I'd like to hear. Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? Uh, we can both survive. Attack him together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith 
is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Correct! He was a fool to let down his guard. You will not make the same mistake, and the Sith as a whole benefit. You see me, Cole. It's not so difficult. Time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? just be preyed upon by something else later. Stand up for yourself, I say. We're not Jedi shepherds after all. Sadly, Miko, the ingenuity of your fellow student is your loss. This is going to hurt. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? Correct! Let them rip the secret from your cold, dead hands if they are strong enough. Oh, certainly you might share it with a few selected minions, but that, of course, is a completely different story. <laughs> well, it's sad to say, but it's that time again, Mika. Ah! Well, that poor Mikul has gone and died on us. Uh, here I thought it was good for at least one more. Well, is your Nicole dead? I suppose you've gone and passed my little test, haven't you? That indeed is first. I think you must have cheated a little. But there's nothing wrong with a Sith cheating a little. I'll keep my word. I'll just give you a tap. Perhaps we'll meet again, Sith. That would be fun, no? Intruders detected. Excessive audio of disturbance must kill sentience. Not this again! 
Greetings, young one. I have found you to be most impressive. You are off to an excellent beginning. Yes, so I hear. I've had reports from some students that ventured into the tomb after you left and found the parts. Well done. I am impressed. You have rid us of a potential nuisance. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Ah, my old master. Still, unless you bring back something of his, some writings are similar, I am unimpressed. Jorak's fate means nothing to me. Oh, let me see. It appears my old master was busy studying the writings in one of the tombs. How interesting. I do hope you had to pry this from his dead fingers. Regardless, you have impressed me with your worthy act. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Maybe it's better to say that Meikle is dead, yes? Considering the circumstances, I am unimpressed. Though you do now have one less opponent. You have gained considerable prestige. You are very close to the end. Do not falter now.
Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're, we're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! So you have heard about us. Yes, we ran away before Master Uthar could execute us. Is that so hard to believe? My name is Thalion May. The others here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? No. I know what sick like you want from us. You're not bringing our heads to Master Uthar so he can pat you on the back. They're here to kill us! Get them! Get them! <laughs> Greetings, young one. You have done very well for yourself so far. Continue and your promise shall be fulfilled. Ah, the ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. It's done then. Indeed, I had the caverns checked after you left. Well done. The lesson is learned, I believe. Go now, you have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Oh? What is my apprentice up to now? I see. It is good that you have come to me with this information, young one. It is a bit... ironic that Euthura has begun her plotting. I have been aware of her growing ambitions for some time, and had in fact already decided to remove her. Normally, the one who gains the most prestige would engage in a final trial. Two of the students would fight. This time, it will be Euthura who battles, though she does not yet know it. Perhaps it will be you who combats her. Yes, perhaps so. This is what you can do. Give this pad to Adrenus. He will put some poison in her bath. This will weaken Euthura for that final test, making her an easy target. Rather generous of me, don't you think? Hmm, this should be interesting. For coming to me with this information and betraying your foolish trainer, I feel you are worthy of prestige, young one. You have impressed me enough, by my estimation, to become a Sith in full. Congratulations, young one. You have bested the others quite completely. You have but one final test which you must take, and this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasado in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. When you return, make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Go, and may the Force serve you well. So then, I take it you are ready to travel to the tomb of Nagasado. Your final test should not be delayed. I will tell you the details when we are there, young one. You will, however, 
Fight for your life. That is why I suggest you be in sufficient health. It is a tomb that belonged to an ancient Sith Lord. The greatest of Korriban Sith Lords, in fact. It is there that your test is performed. Then we go now. Very well. We are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed you have. Is that a tone of mischief in your voice, dear Thor? You should know by now that no scheme is certain. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, Master. I am not scheming. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Revan years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain active. Do you understand what I have told you? Are you ready to begin? No, that is part of the test. Overcome the obstacles that lie ahead on your own. Good. Euthora and I will await your return. Go and retrieve the lightsaber. There is nothing we can do for you until then. Yeah! 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 
a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with, for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die and someone more talented to take your place. No. It is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Sadly, Euthura, it is you who are mistaken. Your pupil is more ambitious than you realize. Isn't that so, young one? Do you hear that, my master? That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. So the time has come, has it? You both wish to stand against a Sith Master and perish, do you? And so be it! You should have no trouble defending yourself, for what it's worth.
A real Sith would have no hesitation in striking me down. Then I hope you got what you came to the Academy for, whatever that was. I was right the first time back at the Cantina, wasn't I? There is something strange about you, more so than I even suspected. Your path leads elsewhere to a destiny I can only guess at. Whatever it is does not involve joining the Sith. Not yet, at least. Go then. Go and leave here. I'll not stop you. <laughs> 